We'll get started this hour with breaking news from overnight as tensions continue to surge in the Middle East. As a U.S. government source confirms to Fox News that Israel launched a retaliatory strike against Iran. Connor Hansen has the latest on this developing story. U.S. officials say Israel launched an early morning strike against Iran. This triggers new fears the conflict between the two countries could expand throughout the Middle East. A U.S. government source telling Fox News Israel conducted a limited strike on the Iranian province of Isfahan Friday morning. It's seen as a direct retaliation after Iran's massive attack on Israel last Sunday with the firing of more than 300 drones and missiles. Iran says that attack was in response to a deadly Israeli airstrike killing top military officials at its consulate in Syria. Israel didn't take that lightly. U.S. government sources say Friday's Israeli strike did not use manned aircraft. The U.S. says it had no involvement, but Israeli officials notified the U.S. beforehand. This could be the tit for tat. Let's put this thing to bed. Let's not get nuclear here. Let's calm this thing down. Everybody got their shots in. Isfahan, where the strike is being reported, is home to a major Iranian military base and contains facilities associated with the country's nuclear program. In recent days, U.S. officials and other Israeli allies recommended the nation practice restraint and not escalate the war. We will make our own decisions, and the state of Israel will do all that is needed to defend itself. Analysts previously thought any retaliation would take place after the Jewish holiday of Passover, which begins next week. The White House and National Security Council not yet commenting on the strike. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News. And we're continuing to follow the latest on this developing story, and we'll have more of an update in our next half hour.